What's poppin' everybody and welcome to another episode of the Maisie Show. I'm your host with the most. Now, before we begin, preferably before we begin, please hit that subscribe and that like button for me. Let me know that you are a citizen, a trooper, a real supporter of my channel. In addition to that, if you can hit the post notification bell. That way, anytime I drop something new, something trending, something that may pique your interest, you will be one of the first ones to view it. All right, uh, let's just get right into it. Joseph Biden, the current president of the United States of America, has officially dropped out of the presidential race. Um, so let's take a look at his post real quick before we get to clowning him. So here we go. We got Joe. OK, uh, Joe Biden just announced that he has dropped out of the 2024 presidential election. They posted this yesterday, 21 hours ago. So here's his letter to the people, right? <clears throat> so Joseph says this, Joseph R. Biden Jr., uh, July 21st, 2024. My fellow Americans, over the past three and a half years, we have made great progress as a nation. Okay, so if I'm being honest, I'm not sure what progress he's speaking of, uh, but we'll continue. Today, America has the strongest economy in the world. Uh... Yeah, I mean, it's not terrible, but we definitely 110% do not have the strongest economy in the world. Germany has a phenomenal economy. Europe, all of Europe has a great economy. China's economy is peaking. Uh, some would say that it may be better than, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying it's better, but there, I, I will, I promise you there's countries with stronger economies than ours. So to say, to say that America has the strongest economy in the world, that's not correct. <clears throat> um. Uh, while we all love America, let's just be real with our condition. Um, we've made historic investments in rebuilding our nation, in lowering prescription drug costs for seniors, and in expanding affordable health care to a record number of Americans. Um, we've provided critically needed care to one million veterans exposed to a to toxic excuse me to toxic substances passed the first gun safety law in 30 years okay so you broke our constitution uh appointed the first african-american woman to the supreme court and passed the most significant climate legislation in the history of the world america has never been better positioned than uh, excuse me america has never been better positioned to lead than we are today all right so i uh, I think you're gassing yourself up here, buddy, but we'll, we'll continue. Um, I know none of this could be, ha this is so damn small. I know none of this could have been done without you, the American people. Together, we overcame a once in a century pandemic and the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. Oh my God, bro. You, okay, so I'm going to stop you right there. Okay. You, you just said. Together we okay we overcame a once in a century pandemic and the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. Number one, a pandemic happens pretty much every ten years. It was swine flu. Uh, it, it, it was uh, uh, the West Nile. It was COVID. It was. It, it's not once in a century. I know that you're not. You're a little bit of older gentleman, and maybe your cognitive features aren't like as clicking as fast as they once did but don't say things that's not true okay number two you said we overcame the worst the uh uh uh, uh well, let me, i don't want to i don't want to miss misquote you you said the worst economic crisis since the great depression right so first and foremost the the the, the recession we had with obama was worse than this one okay uh and it happened under your leadership. This did not happen. You didn't come in and save the day. No, this was done on your watch. So if we overcame it, that just means we were struggling. That don't mean that you came in. No, we was doing pretty smooth when you came in, if we're just being real. Okay, but we'll continue the letter. Okay, so uh, let's see. Uh, since the Great Depression, um, which was a lie. Uh, we've protected and preserved our democracy and okay so that right there by itself 
is not correct. I don't know too many people that want to give our money to Ukraine, but I know I'm not one of them. I mean, I'm sorry that they're going through what they're going through, but why do we have to give them that? But then you can't give anything to Hawaii, all the major fire survivors. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, uh, and we revitalized and strengthened our alliances around the world. Well, they they know you're no threat, so they're just, it's no big, they're not tripping. Um, <clears throat> it has been the greatest honor of my life. Oh, 200 years. Uh, to serve as your president. And while it has been, oh, excuse me, this is so small. And while it has been my intention to seek re-election, I believe it is in the strong, in the best interest of my party and the country for me to stand down and to focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder of my term. <clears throat> so you're very old and you might not survive what you have left let alone another four years and you're already losing your marbles um i will speak to the nation later this week in more detail about my decision for now let me express my deepest gratitude to all those who have worked so hard to see me reelected. so i'm gonna just be honest even the people who were once your fans they're not your fans now so i don't think there's too many and you probably didn't really stand like a really a chance People would rather see a convicted felon, uh, you know, be president than you. Um, so, yeah. I want to thank Vice President Kamala Harris for being an extraordinary partner in all this work. Yeah, she probably had a big, big part in you stepping out, too. She's trying to get president. And let me express my heartfelt appreciation to the American people for the faith and trust you have placed in me. I believe today... What I always have. That there is nothing Americans can't do. I mean you're absolutely right. We got a president that's about 150 years old. And that's unheard of. So I guess I guess we can. Um, when we do it together. Uh, we just have to remember. We are the United States of America. Okay. So let's. Uh, let's check out the comments. <laughs> let's check out the comments. Right? Uh, bro's going to wake up tomorrow. And forget. He dropped out at all. <laughs> Facts. Uh, for real, real, real. Nice PFP. You too. Yeah. Yeah, you too. Ha, ha, ha. You're something. Ha, ha, ha. Nice. We will have a patch on his ear when he wakes up. <laughs> will he have a patch on his ear when he wakes up? Horrible. I just thought the same. Damn. He, he, he. That's so true. Bro is just a meme. Or he dropped out for real. He dropped out. All the news outlets have been reporting. Blah blah blah. Look, I swear there was better comments than that. I just looked at him. One of them said something like, "If you don't, you can't. No one could can be black because if you don't vote for him, you're not black." Remember, he tried to say, "If you don't vote for me, you're not black." Like, bro, who are you? Like, you ain't nobody. <clears throat> no, how, oh, here we go. Here we go. Here's all the real ones. Finally, now he can focus on his upcoming album, The Presidential Dropout. <laughs> no, I was excited for his new album. How will Kendrick Lamar react to this? How does this affect LeBron's legacy? Uh, album, album fitting to go crazy. Uh, my fellow Americans, I think we all know where this is going, so let's just skip to the end. Yeah, everybody's just basically clowning him. It's Jizzy, great progress. Yeah, well... Go with that, Joe. So, pretty nothing is really too positive in all of his um, comments. The electoral dropout comes. <laughs> okay, so let's get to it. All right, so let's just go ahead and get to the meat and potatoes of this all. Um, Joseph, you are approximately uh, 81 years old. That's your age. You're 81 years old, okay? And it's showing. It's very much showing. Now, it's one thing if you're old and you got all your marbles in one bag. That's not the situation with you. You're, you're losing your mind. Your, your cognitive skills are going nowhere. You're, you're not able to hold a conversation. You're not able to maintain topic. 
your cognitive skills are about as sharp as a bouncy ball. Okay, so it's inevitable. You know and we know that you will not get elected for, I don't care, Democrat, Republican, Independent, it don't matter. For someone to elect you as a president again at 81 years old, so that means what? And the presidential election is not until, what, November? Uh, so you'll probably be about 82. So 86 years old, you're, you're, no, you're not ready. And I'm pretty sure everybody else around you is telling you, Look, man, you, look at the number. You don't stand a chance. Because you don't stand a chance. Now, I'm not endorsing anybody in particular. If I'm being totally honest, I don't know who's all running. That's something maybe I might need to look into. But I just know him, Trump, and I think uh, D, D. Los Santos or something like that. Del Santos or something like that. But nevertheless, like, why would you think that just you you're delusional you're telling lies any this is worse since the great depression the obama administration had the worst recession since maybe since the great depression this was way less than that um and if it was it was under your watch you didn't come into it as much as maybe you know saying we don't like trump we don't like his personality he was great with the economy you know what i'm saying and, and i'm gonna speak the truth as far as that goes this thing going crazy. I'm going to speak as far as that goes. I'm going to say he was great with the economy. He was great with the economy. He he didn't, he didn't, he, he's very, one thing I can say about him, he's sharp. He gets things done. He doesn't, he tells you what he's going to do. He doesn't care. And he was great with the economy. You, you, you taught, you basically, if I'm being real, you exploited black people. You made it seem like you're so pro, but you're this so black. I'm so pro black and this and that. You didn't do a damn thing for black people. What you so you you put in a, a black judge to a Supreme Court? What she gotta follow the same rules that the rest of those people are following. That doesn't change anything. You you that's my big that's I got a lot of gripes with you, Mr. Mr. Biden, but but that's for sure my, my biggest gripe with you. One of my biggest gripes with you is that you just exploited black people to a degree where you made it seem like it was such a glitteral hope. And even in your once you got elected, you said the African American committee has always had my back and I will always have yours. Bro, you're way back. Way, way, way back. Because you ain't did nothing. You elected a black judge. Great. Fantastic. That's phenomenal. Okay. You didn't do nothing for the black community. You didn't uh, approach the leaders. Like, I mean, as much as you pumped it up, I'll be honest. It's been love. I had very high hopes for you. My hopes for you were very high. As much as you pumped it up, I was sure that you were going to like gather all the black leaders together and, um, you know, hey, listen, we need to make some changes. We need to improve the black community. We need to create jobs. We need to do this. We need to do that. You, you gassed it up so much and nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. You didn't do a damn thing, but you elected a black judge. Great. But you gas it up more than anybody. Meanwhile, this is what I can say. I'm just, I can just say what I, you know. Meanwhile, you got Trump over here, right? He don't, he even probably is racist. Let's be real. He's right. He's probably low key, like a little bit racist to a degree. He did way more for the black community than you did. And you the one that like latches on. Like, come on, bro. And then you're always talking about living in Delaware. You ain't lived there for about 200 years, bro. So, in closing, I'll say this. It's no surprise. You weren't going to get nobody's vote anyway. Because everybody knows you didn't do anything. Democrat, Democrat, Republican, Independent. Everybody knows that you didn't do anything. You did nothing worth claiming or latching onto. You did nothing in that regard. So, yeah, you, you dropped out because you don't have a chance. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's it. This is the Measy Show, and I stand by this message. Just like May said. Uh, yeah, man. That's it, man. You let me know what you think about it in the comments, man. I appreciate you guys for watching. If you have not already, please hit that subscribe and that like button for me. Salute. Y'all have a great afternoon. I'm gone.